Let's let's talk about these new Hillary Clinton fucking um, commercials, which, of course, none of and, and the Trump ones, none of them talk about any sort of issue. They're just sort of talking about each other, about what assholes they are. You know, it's like uh, it's like two seventh grade girls just fucking starting rumors about each other. They're not talking about the nationwide heroin epidemic. They're not talking about fucking uh, uh, the pharmaceutical companies trying to fucking make weed not legal at a state level again because all, all the states where it's fucking legal. You know, the, the prescription medic, uh, uh, prescriptions are all down. They're losing money, so they're going to try to demonize it again, according to the person that I can't even remember who the fuck it is that told me that, and then I never read it to see if it's true, but now I'm telling it to you. Um, they're not talking about any of that shit. Great Barrier Reef is dead. Who gives a fuck, right? All right, let's trash the Hillary one first. All right, the Hillary one about fucking Donald Trump is they're trying to go, your kids are watching this. What kind of president are they going to see? Okay, which I get. All right, there's kids that are into politics. But they show like six-year-olds, like riveted to, to, a, to a fucking, I, to a fucking adult running, running for office. I, did you remember when you were six years old? Remember when you, I don't even if, what, what kids see nowadays. When I was a kid, remember when your parents put on the fucking news? Remember that feeling in your stomach? It was, it was like they were making you eat spinach. You're like, oh my God, I got to get out of here. This is boring. Anytime there were adults on TV with suits talking, it was over. I wanted nothing to do with it. All I want, cartoons. I like sports. The Bionic Man. What else did they have back then? Little House in the Prairie I liked for a little while. Then it got, it got all gross when fucking they brought that kid in. Who, who Did he go deaf or did he go black? I can't remember what the fuck. It, the Adam kid or some shit. He started fucking... The one with the pigtails. It just got gross, man. I don't know. I used to like watching the cowboy shit. I like that, that stuff. But anything that was remotely nightly news, politics. I vaguely remember uh, Richard Nixon crying on the radio when I was, riding, uh, I was riding in the car with my mother. And she was trying to explain to me what was happening. And I was like, oh, oh, Okay. And I never thought, like, like, wow, this guy lied to the nation. This, guy, this is a president crying on the radio. I had no concept of any of that. I was just like, all right, can I get out of the car right now? Because it's sunny out. We've been driving for a while, and I think I'm going to throw up. That's all I was thinking, because I was a fucking kid. Okay, people? Here's the deal. I mean, how fucking awful are you that you got to start talking about kids? Kids are watching this guy. Um. And then the Hillary one, I don't even know what the fuck it was. It looked like a fucking Pink Floyd video. I only, I was cooking and I turned around, I had, I had a, the game on, um, the one that Trump made about Hillary, uh, which I want to say it was somebody dressed up like Hillary, holding a pickaxe or something. Like, I didn't even know. What. <laughs> I never took a hallucinogen, but you know, that commercial made me be like, you know what, this would have been a great time. To have done some acid to just watch that and like you know, and if he somehow made it like feature length, that would have been fucking awesome. But anyways, I believe the election is this week. I want to say it's Wednesday, or is it Tuesday? Maybe it's fucking Tuesday. I have no idea. Um, I know Wednesday the ninth, I'm going to be on Conan O'Brien, and there will be a new president. Is it going to be the first lady? You know, which means uh, Bill Clinton will be the first, uh, what the fuck would he be, what would he be called? The first husband? The first, first husband? I knew I'd be groundbreaking. Jesus Christ, can you imagine if that fucking cigar fucking sticking lunatic is back in there and now he doesn't even have a fucking job? Jesus Christ. Hillary, the first day is going to be like, get all these broads the fuck out of here. I'm president. Get them. Anything with a twat, get it the fuck off Pennsylvania Avenue. That's it. They're literally going to, they, they're going to have to fucking wheel Bill around like Hannibal Lecter on like one of those two wheelers. You know what I mean? With the little fucking muzzle on him. Jesus, that animal might be coming back. Um, I think he's gonna, I think, uh, I think Trump fucked up. He just said too much crazy shit. And uh, he made the Clintons look sane. 
and he's got no one to blame but himself. That's my prediction, all right? If I was a betting man and I was going to Vegas, unbelievable, right? And Bernie Sanders is like that school that should have been allowed into the playoff and didn't fucking get in, right? Because all these fucking cunts were too afraid to vote for him because, oh, there's no way he could win. I saw somebody the other day on TV. They did this whole fuck. They did this. They go, all right, well, Hillary has, okay, you got to make a smart decision either because it's really hard. This decision is really hard because Hillary had a bunch of felonies and Trump, and then they listed like, all the shit that Trump did for like a minute. This is like a fucking, like a TV show. I was just so fucking irresponsible, I feel. You know what I mean? He's supposed to try to be like impartial, right? I hope I'm being impartial. I don't fucking like either one of them. I just don't know how you trash one guy for fucking 90 goddamn seconds and then you just, you, and all you say about the other person is just their felonies. Why don't you just talk about the felonies that were brought up, that the charges of those things. You could talk about that for fucking 19 hours. Oh, no, she has a blue bra, so therefore she must be a saint. Um, All right, I'm off my fucking soapbox here. Good luck to you guys. I really mean that. Good luck to you, man. I hope uh, somehow we come out of this. We somehow pick the fucking lesser of two fucking evils, whatever that is. Uh, And I hope everybody uh, reads and rereads all the propositions and all the shit that's attached to them. I plan on fucking doing that. Um, for the first time ever, I'm actually going to be an informed fucking voter when it comes to that shit because I don't think there's any winning at the uh, presidential level. Oh, Jesus Christ. Anyways, ugh. whoever wins, it's going to be a rough four years of speeches before the next one. I mean, neither one of them are a good public speaker. Holy shit. I mean, Trump just goes out there and wings it. Like Trump, when Trump gives a speech, he sounds like he's waiting for the headliner. He's like stretching, waiting for the headliner to show up. Keeps looking at the back of the room and they're still making that stretch. See, he's not here yet. They said he's on his way to another 10. Um, and then Hillary with that whole bobblehead fucking thing that she does. Like she is, I haven't seen anybody so outside their own fucking body since Al Gore. Remember Al Gore when he was fucking, um, I'll never forget he was doing a debate with George Bush and George Bush makes a point and then for whatever reason Al Gore stood up walked all the way over to George Bush and just goes my turn in his ear and Bush does like a double take like dude what the fuck sort of a natural reaction to this guy coming out of I mean he could literally feel his fucking breath in his ear he fucking did this double take looking at him and the whole crowd laughed at Al Gore and then Al Gore just threw his head back and for whatever reason started laughing just goes ha 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 and I'm like what are you laughing at like what the fuck are you doing like he, he was uh, yeah that guy that, you know what that guy that guy read about his critics too much like the first time they were like uh, he wasn't animated enough and the next time he went out there he was doing like this fossy shit um, oh Jesus he, re- he redefined fucking flop sweat that guy All right, let's get out of politics. I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking anyways. Good luck with the voting, everybody. Uh, May the best piece of shit win.